Hey, what's up everybody? For Neville World here today to do my review of One Piece chapter 653. And I guess we could call this something like the goodbye chapter. Because this is probably, like, you know, unless some craziness goes on, the last chapter of us being on Fishman Island. They finally set sail for the new world at the very end. And basically this was just kind of felt a little chill. It, more or less like the usual One Piece when they're leaving an island, the goodbyes and everything. I hope to see you again. Um, I felt a little bad for Shira Hoshi because she's a big crybaby or whatever. And, you know, her saying goodbye to Luffy and wanting to promise, I, I, it made me feel bad for the character. Because at the end of the day, as giant as she is in size, she's still just a little girl and, you know, crybaby or whatever. So I felt bad for her. And Luffy is like keeps on joking we Koshi, but he promises her that uh, when he gets back, he'll take her out again. And I really like that because Luffy, he, for a pirate, he has a pretty good heart. So uh, you got to respect that. And, you know, just a chapter, everybody's just really, for the most part, just saying goodbye. But we do learn one particular thing in this chapter, and it's about the log post. It's very different for the new world. And I was quite interested in it because it adds a little bit more detail and dynamic to the adventures now. Now it's not just a log post that kind of every once in a while screws up, but for the most part, it's accurate. Now it's like it has three different directions, and one of them could lead you to danger. And basically, a good uh, guide or a good, you know, well, Nami's job is now going to be very vital she's going to be on her toes and she kind of didn't want the responsibility because it kind of seemed frightening and of course when luffy hears about it he literally wraps his whole freaking head around nami like ooh, he's <laughs> gets all excited and everything for it and i i really want to see where this goes because this is going to make the journey even more crazy and it's going to of course at the same time as it's kind of plot points you could clearly see oda setting up plot points to make the manga go a lot longer because now not only do they got to get to the islands and everything, they got to go to different ones. Um, this directional pad, instead of taking them to the exact islands they want to go to, it could take them to an island they don't want to go to, or Luffy dragging them. No, I want to go to the danger! So, um, it's going to drag out the story definitely a lot longer. Not that that's a bad thing or anything, because for me, I more One Piece is always a good thing, to be honest with you. Um, but definitely, I, I saw that as like a plot point for Oda to keep on, like, oh, well, you know, we got to go to this island because we messed up, and stuff like that um i really liked to be honest with you the flashback because a flash uh we get a little flashback with luffy scene uh because he says we're finally gonna be on the waters that shanks is on and he's really excited and we see a flashback of him giving the straw hat get a mini little flashback and uh it was appropriate because this is literally the end of the arc you know they're leaving and they're finally going to the new world where shanks is at we see kobe um little shot of ace's death and every time that gets me poor ace um <laughs> uh and then the final uh, page of the chapter is go to the new world we're going you know uh, i can't wait this final chapter on fishman island unless randomly the boat breaks and they got to go back but i highly doubt that's gonna happen and um yeah it's just really one of those goodbye chapters that you know one piece is infamous for at the end there's always the goodbye you know celebration and everything uh King Neptune's like uh, really thankful for what they did there so I think the King Neptune character overall he turned out to be more or less a fair leader and everything I liked uh, his position and stuff like that um, I guess out of the whole Fishman Island thing kind of little throw a final thought on there um, the character that would be most memorable or the couple of characters uh, Madam Shirley with her dramatic reaction and something that will probably carry on later onward that Luffy is going to be the one to destroy Fishman Island. I'm sure this is something that Oda is going to hold on to and then eventually like maybe when a war breaks down he's going to destroy it or something. This is something Oda is going to hold on to and plan it for later. We're going to forget about that whole Madam Shirley thing in time and it's not going to be anything, you know, not going to think of nothing of it. We're going to think, ah, you know, it was whatever, but that's going to come back in time. Mark my words, uh, chapter 653 for Neverworld said it first. This is going to be a huge plot point for later on and we're going to forget about it one of those things where Oda set something up for something a lot bigger than just a Fishman Island arc so um, I'm pretty sure I look forward to that and uh, like I was saying the, the characters okay Madam Shirley um Shiro Hoshi because I, I thought she was a cute sea character you know for a big freaking mermaid still she was cute and crying and all that stuff I thought it was pretty funny it didn't really get on my nerves because I just felt like Kind of felt bad for the character of being trapped and everything that Vander Decken put her through. Um, and Holy Jones, you know, taking her mother away and stuff. So, I felt bad for the character. Definitely those are probably the two main ones. And then, of course, the villains, Vander Decken and Holy Jones, uh, I guess, will be memorable. Like, you know, the leads of this particular arc. And, yeah, um, overall, not 
nothing to go crazy about this chapter. It was just a goodbye one and last look at the island and they're going. They they're in the ship. They're going. No more nothing. Freshman Island. Uh, let me know what you thought of the chapter. Um, exactly which characters you think will be the most memorable for you from Fishman Island. Will it be Shira Hoshi, the actual villains, Hody Jones and Banner Deccan, even though they were kinda corny, but you know, they did what they tried they tried to do what they could. And you know, just the overall thoughts of this chapter and one last look at Fishman Island. But that's all I have for you guys today. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Thumbs up for finally it looks like we're finally going to the new world. So thumbs up for that and have an awesome day, people.